Hey, I'm about to make some tacos using these tacos, guilt free tacos, tacos. Okay, I got these. I like a lot of meat, so I know it says one, but <laughs> I'm gonna use two. I got some tri pepper blend because I'm kind of lazy, a little salt, a little black pepper. I got some fiesta lime. Um, just call it cabbage, cut up cabbage. I got some shredded lettuce. I got this mayo cheese, you know. Basically, I'm gonna make it using what I got in the house. And don't worry, I got the taco shells too. Okay, I'm gonna use these. And I'm gonna put them on this, um, this, this stone piece of wheel. And of course, I'm gonna do my meat in this pot. But I'm going to use these, these old El Paso. So just add that to all of this other ingredients, right? I'm lazy. I'm kind of lazy. I don't like to work too hard. So I put everything, the garlic, two of the ripest tomatoes, the onions, that, that tri-pepper blend. Okay, the ingredients are blended. Blended. Okay, see the time? What I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna preheat the oven. I'm gonna do it to 400, but normally I do it like 425, or sometimes it'll tell you. Oops, my bad. Let me drop it back down. <laughs> What it says 325 all right so I'm gonna do it 325 if I can all right now you got the taco seasoning mix you got the soft roll I mean the soft tacos you got the hard tacos and you got the taco sauce that came in this package right now I'm gonna put them in the oven. Look, I still got the cardboard in it because I don't want when it cooks for it to close open. I'm gonna put them in the oven for maybe five minutes, probably less. But you can follow the instructions on the package. I don't use measurements, but this is Crisco oil. I'm gonna say put about a tablespoon. Normally I probably won't even do this with meat, but because it's these go beyond me, I, I like a little fat in my stuff. So put like about that much, right? And then I'm gonna do this go beyond me. Now it's supposed to already be seasoned, but I'm gonna add more seasoning. See, all right. So, I got that, and I'm going to grease it up some, I'm going to oil it up, I'm going to get that oil rub, basically that's what I'm doing, giving it that oil rub. Now, remember that, remember that taco seasoning mix? that came in the package okay I'm gonna add that rub it up See, this was frozen, so I'm kind of marinating it. 
its own ice and pieces, using it to my advantage. Then, remember our blended stuff? I'm going to add that in it. Some people say they just like to just do it with just the meat, some cheese, maybe some taco sauce, and that's it. But I got a taste for it. <laughs> that requires much more. So now remember, in this pepper, in, in what I had blended, it was... I used two of the ripest tomatoes, those Roma or plum tomatoes. I used about a cup full of the tri pepper blend, um, the frozen tri pepper blend with green pepper, yellow pepper, onions, and red peppers. I put two scotch bonnet. Normally I use habanero, but I don't have any habanero, so I put two scotch bonnet pepper. I deseeded them. I put um, two cloves of garlic. Only because that's all I had. If I had like a whole bunch of garlic, I would use the entire thing, especially now during the pandemic and the COVID where I need my immune system just up there, you know, extremely strong to fight against the whales of the devil, so to speak. So, and then, um, and the onions, I put like, uh, I guess you could call it a half a cup of onion, but it's really like, uh, a half of that large onion, right? The tri pepper blend has onion, but I just wanted some real onions in it. And, and then I kind of oil it up. And then I'm going to let this cook down, simmer down a little bit, maybe five, ten minutes. Now, I'm going to dice up these tomatoes. I'm gonna dice them up but I need two hands so let me pause okay now that I finished dicing up the tomatoes I put them in a container remember this can you see it the taco sauce that came in this package I'm mixing it in with my tomatoes. Now normally I do like a mango salsa or something like that, but I'm just doing regular chunky salsa. All right. So just mixing it in. All right, now let's check on this. Okay, let's see what it looks like. Hold on. sticking yeah it's sticking a little it's because of those tomatoes blended but that's good it'll give it a nice roasty meaty flavor so I'm going to turn off the fire under this Remember now, this is the Beyond Meat with lots of rich herbs and tomatoes and peppers and onions combined, right? sour cream so I'm gonna mix this cheese sauce together I'm gonna go ahead and add some of this Mexican cheese blend to this mayonnaise and sauce that I already mixed up 
And what I did was I took this, but I didn't use the Fiesta lime sauce. And I mixed it with this. That's all it is. Because I like veggies, especially when they're crisp. And this is the cheese sauce mixed with the mayo and the cheese. And this is my tomatoes mixed with the taco sauce. You see how simple? And these are my taco shells, hard and soft. I'm taking out the oven. I know it looks a little weird because for one, I gave too much time on it. And for two, like I said, I like flavor. So of course I rubbed a little butter on it. That's what caused them to be brown. All righty, so now I'm gonna put this taco sauce, all it down upon the tin, and I this. And uh, so I'm gonna put this sauce in this, right? This taco meat, or go beyond meat, I should say. Yeah, just a little full. And then, you know, I'm old school. I ain't too fussy. Right. Then I'm gonna put some cheese. That's my song, my cameraman. Remember that cheese I made? Put that cheese. That's that cheese sauce with that, um, that's that cheese sauce with that. Hold on a second. Y'all stay focused right there. Let me get a fork. <laughs> okay. Now, remember that cheese sauce? So, now, then I'm going to put some of this tomato salsa sauce that I made. Right? I'm going to use the same fork for this lettuce. Lettuce, cabbage, veggie blend. And real talk, can't really do it, but I'm being greedy right now because I am hungry. And so you can hold right over. You see it? pack it up like that and push come to shove if I want to I still got a bag of cheese so I can do this oops right and voila there it is now <laughs> here's the good part mm. Mmm, it's messy, but <laughs> mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> mm. mm -mm -mm. 